house suspected killer behind bars two years after she was found dead in the trunk of her own car. The 87 year old's family, along with investigators, held a news conference. WLWT News 5's Karen Johnson leading the way live. Karen, good afternoon. Police are still remaining tight lipped about this case. Well, that's right, Lisa. Still lots of questions. How was Barbara Howe killed? Where did the murder take place? What was the motive? Those are all questions detectives here in Monroe still will not answer. But what we did confirm today is 56 year old Daniel French, the man who was indicted for Howe's murder and arrested yesterday near Lexington, had worked at the Mount Pleasant Retirement Village from September of 2003 until December of 2011. That's where Howe was living when she was killed two years ago. Now, no one is commenting on his position there or how well he knew Howe. Howe was murdered in 2012. Her body found inside the trunk of her car, which was parked in a Middletown apartment complex parking lot. When road detective Greg Meyer, seen here hugging Howe's daughter, Donald Wesselman, has dedicated these last two years to this case, and we know a Butler County grand jury Jury spent the last few months hearing evidence and indicted French yesterday on aggravated murder charges. Well, Myers would not discuss what ultimately led detectives to French. He did talk about the moment he called House family to tell them the news. That was that was something that uh, that we shared and we've developed a friendship uh, through this um, close friendship and it was it was something that was good to share between friends. Yesterday was the day I have waited for for over two years. Um, and I just feel like a big weight's been lifted off my back. Well, shortly after Howe's death, detectives here in Monroe released a picture of Howe's 3.3 carat diamond wedding ring uh, that has been missing since she was found murdered. I asked Detective Myers today if that's what connected him to French, but he said no, and he says that ring is still missing. Reporting live in Monroe, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Thanks a lot, Karen. Now to the case of a victim's family. Speaking